Hello guys and welcome back to RimWorld. In this episode we're going to learn a little bit about the producing weapons and smithing and more energy. We build the smithing bench in production. And you place it like that in here. It requires to be connected to power, it drains power at 210 watts. And it has to be switched on, so let's do it. And now in the build you select different weapons in here. So let's say we want to make a short bow. You can select how many times you make it, from details you select what sort of materials. So short bow can only be made from wood. But if you wanted to add a bill, let's say for example knife, from materials available to us we can make it from uranium plus steel, steel, gold and silver, but we can't make it out of wood anymore obviously because it's a knife. So as you can see different things will give you different options, like if we make a mace, Fine enough, mace can be made of wood, so you can make it wood plus steel, steel, gold, and so on. And different materials will determine the hit points as well, and the kind of damage the weapons does. So let's say we want to make this short bow, and I would like actually somebody who is very skilled at crafting, so let's see what options I have in here. Okay, so the solar flare is finished, and Diane, we have enough materials, let's grab Diane, because she was our great crafter here. So she created a normal, normal wooden bow. So as you can see when you click on it, it has a market value of 60, maximum hit points, selling price multiplier and so on, accuracy and so on. If she was better crafter, and unfortunately she's not, she could create even better weapons for us. So as her levels of crafting progress, this weapon will become master masterpiece and eventually will become better and better at fighting. So like previously, I created this uh, steel mace, which is good quality, so that's quite a decent damage, a decent cooldown in here, so as you can see, different weapons have different statistics in here. So that's just something I wanted to show you, that you can create some basic weapons just by selecting different builds in here and adding different items in here. Fortunately, you can't create the guns, so that's something you have to be aware of. Okay, while we're here, I will show you something. We had a solar flare flare we are doing the solar flare as the game progresses look at the plants in here they are slowly dying and disappearing so the way to deal with this problem is you go to your zones and you look for a expand the no roof area what you want to do temporary you want to create a no roof area you can select entire pretty much map in here like that and that's what we're going to do no roof area, and these plants will survive now. They will not grow because they were outside, but that kind of stopped them from dying. Only problem, the heaters will take some heat because they're outside. And that's something we can deal with in a second. But yeah, that kind of stopped the plants from dying. If you have a solar flare, that's, the, that's kind of the way you can prevent them from dying. And then you just go to zone again. And clear no roof area, select the entire ma entire area and do it like that. So they will plant it back, the roof will be back on. But a part of that you're doing fine. Also, I would like to talk about the power supply, because I didn't talk about it last time. So obviously as you are aware, there is solar power panels and they create quite a bit of power for you. But they, they switch off at night time. So each one produces 1700 watts. This one produces 3600 3, watts, but it produces it constantly, so even at night time it produces the power. So it's actually not a bad item to have, because obviously day you have to switch off at night time and you have to rely on energy from batteries, and the solar generators will, the geothermal generators will allow you to output all the time. Also the last power we have in the game, is your wind turbines. As you can see in here, wind turbines come with these uh, white boxes. They have to be clear for the wind turbine to actually work properly. So they, they require an uh, empty area in front of them. If I place the wind turbine in here, the stones in front of it will reduce the output. And I can switch it, move it, move it around and so on, but yeah, if there are stones in here or building like that, it will reduce the power it can produce. 
and they don't give you that much power anyway because when you click on them they will not give you that much power so they're really weak and not that great you can rely on them if you have to but there is much better to have a steam geysers and some solar panels working together if we had another steam geyser nearby we could probably use it as well but at least for now guys you know that you can have this power sources you can produce your own weapons so your colonies or not be left defenseless so that's just something I wanted to show you quickly.